How's it going, folks? So yes, another month has passed. Uh, the, the month of February has come and gone, but it, it did not uh, uh, leave without uh, delivering some great music uh, in its wake. Just another killer month uh, for this year. I'm telling you, this, this year started out super strong. It's continuing that trend. And I, I have the, uh, you know, the, the sinking feeling that it's going to continue. Um, that trend this year, 2023, um, yeah, just just awesome, awesome stuff. But so yes, I'll, I'll be telling y'all my picks for the top five best albums of February 2023. But first, I want to mention that down in the description below, I have uh, listed all of the songs that I listened to off channel that, in one way or another, caught my attention. You know, in one way or another. I wanted to share because I thought it was really good. I thought there was something neat about it or, or this or that. You know, I excluded all the songs I did a reaction to because you can just look at my reactions. And I also excluded songs that just, eh, you know, it just kind of passed me by and, you know, didn't find it particularly noteworthy. So all the songs I've listed in the description I found noteworthy for one reason or another and I wanted to share. Uh, so go down and check those out. I've put the link to each of those songs. It'll take you right to the, the official video or, or right to whatever, you know, on the, the band's YouTube channel or the label's channel, whatnot, not to any reactions or anything like that. It's just right to the song, right to the source. So go down, have some fun, see if there's anything that you missed, see what I was digging off channel. And the only thing I ask is if you go and you, you click any of those links, you go check out any of those songs, in the comment section of that video, uh, just tell them Power Metal Ranger sent you. That would be super duper cool. Spread the the word. You know the the Rangers. You know we're 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 spreading. We're we're you know expanded here. So let them know. It, it takes a lot of effort for me to compile this list and put it in there. So you know if you check anything out, you know, like I said, tell them Power Metal Ranger sent you. I, I would really dig it. And then uh, also down in the description below, below the songs, I've listed every single album that I listened to for February. Every single album that was in consideration for my picks. So you can see, oh, what, what were all the albums that Power Metal Ranger listened to? There they are. So again, there's no links for those, but uh, you know, if there's any in there that catch your attention or you, you missed or whatnot, you can go listen to the album and all that kind of stuff, support the bands and whatnot. But, I, I just like to let you all know every album that I listen to uh, for the month. So all that stuff is down there. Anywho, on to the albums. Quick disclaimer, I do not consider EPs. I do not consider live albums. I do not consider compilations or, or uh, cover albums, really, um, uh, or reissues, remasters, anything like that. It's got to be a new full-length album. It's the only way I can stay sane, as you can see by the albums that I listed down in the description. I listen to a lot of albums, so I cannot add to that. <laughs> so yeah, just full-length new um, uh, uh, albums. Whew. All right, with all the business out of the way, it's time for the good stuff. Um, so yeah, a crazy, crazy um, uh, month of good stuff. Quick thing I, I want to mention, there were no melodic rock albums in my top five this year. I'll spoil that right off the rip, but there's a couple that were really, really close. Uh, so I, I, as far as any of you melodic rock fans out there, the two uh, melodic rock albums I, I dug the most and really, really enjoyed was uh, Tenors, or Three Tenors, if you will. It's Tenors, but uh, the E is a, a three, so... I don't know if they wanted said tenors or three tenors, but uh, I can't remember the name of the album right now, but uh, really, really cool stuff. You can see that in the description below of the album. So look at tenors. Uh, if you missed that one, you, you dig melodic rock. Uh, I like that one. And also All My Shadows. Uh, that was another one. Um, again, the, the name of the album escapes me, but um, that was another one. That, that, that one's Really like melodic rock, almost melodic metal, it kind of rides the line there, but also really stellar. So both those tenors and all my shadows uh, for you melodic rock fans, those are the two that I recommend the most uh, from the month as far as melodic rock goes. But now to my top five picks for best albums of February 2023. Uh, in no particular order, we're starting with Rexoria with 
Imperial Dawn. Oh man, what, what a great like symphonic power metal um, with a lot of electronic influence and, and beats in there. This this bad boy does not mess around. You know, it gets the toe tapping, uh, a lot of energy, a um, lot of fun, and, and again the the electronic almost dance party beats at times just really really add to it, and it, it's it's ripping. You know, it's like thirty some minutes long. It's pretty brief. You know, it comes in, you have a good time, and you just want to jump right back in. Really, really stellar. Check out my review of that album uh, if you want more thoughts on it. Next up is Elios with Deviant. Uh, this one really, really kind of took me by surprise here. I, you know, I went into it blind, not knowing of the band before, and it's a really cool blend of symphonic metal with almost like industrial and new metal influences in there put together really really well it's got some a lot of heaviness to it and just a lot of a lot of neat little elements that really set it apart um the, the vocals are absolutely phenomenal really really cool album uh, i dig it again it has a very unique feel uh, to it and I, I dig what they're doing over there uh, so now you, you consider me a fan uh, from here forward i'm definitely going to be keeping up with the band because they impressed me with this album again if you want more thoughts I did an album thoughts on it, so you can check that out. But I highly recommend that bad boy. Um, next up, we got Delane with Dark Waters. Whew. Ooh, man, uh, Martin Westerholt. I mean, he, he, he's a magician uh, when it comes to composing uh, music. Uh, he just kills it. And it just what a, what a, it exceeded my expectations. You know, it truly is just an album of glorious soundscapes and symphonic metal goodness you know it has moments of of heavy punchiness but more than anything it's just very melodic very atmospheric and it really sets a mood and, and uh, uh, the new vocalist does a, a tremendous job um, you know uh, carrying the torch forward for the band and uh, just a lovely lovely album that really takes you on a, a symphonic metal journey highly recommend it Again, I'll stop saying this, but all of the albums on here I did an album thoughts for. So if you want more of my thoughts on a particular album, check it out because it's out there. Uh, next up, we got Ascension with Under the Veil of Madness. <sighs> Talk about it, a powerful power metal album. Uh, the boys over at Ascension, we're not messing around after a long... Uh, uh, break, uh, I guess, before and get back to a full length album. And they came back here with a vengeance. Uh, I'm not kidding. Just a lot of great melodies, incredible musicianship all, of, all around guitar, bass, drums, vocals, everything, a piano, and just top, top notch. But as I mentioned in my album thoughts video, it doesn't just solely rely on their musical prowess, you know, as, as musicians, but the songwriting is also stellar, really creative, really different sounding at times, you know, they, just a very creative group, and, and so it's just a killer power metal album with a lot of substance and uh, a lot of cool nuance in there that uh, I can't recommend enough. And uh, last up, we got Rose Avalon with the album Universe. This is another one that, that really uh, kind of took me by surprise here. I went in blind, never heard of the group before, but amazing symphonic metal with a lot of folk influence. But uh, the thing I love about it is it doesn't just rely on the folk. You know, the, there's some songs that have none, basically, in the song. You know, it's just uh, symphonic metal, almost like a 2000-style symphonic metal, heavy guitars, great melodies, the vocals, phenomenal, killer, killer vocals. I was very impressed by her uh, range and, and diversity when it comes to uh, her, her vocals. But then you add in the folk elements, there's like the bagpipes and flute or tin whistle or whatnot. It, it just adds a whole new layer. It just adds a, a special vibe to it. You know, I've, I've heard plenty of symphonic kind of folk metal before, but this one, it's done so masterfully that it really sets it apart from the other kind of similar styles I've heard in the genre. Um, and so I highly recommend this. Again, it really sets itself apart in the symphonic metal genre with those folk influences. And, uh, you know, has a very unique signature sound and it's done very, very well. I was super impressed. So again, I cannot recommend that bad boy 
enough. All five of these albums, there they are. Those are my picks for the best five albums of February. And yeah, if you, if you did not listen to any one of these, you're missing out. Simple as that. Uh, simple as that. But now, the moment y'all been waiting for. Yeah, I loved all five of these albums, but just like the Highlander, there can be only one. So, after much, much deliberation, my pick for best album of February 2023 is Ascension with Under the Veil of Madness. I cannot get enough of this album. I went in with high expectations, but it blew those expectations away. Again, the songwriting is phenomenal. The, the musical uh, abilities of, of these fellas is through the roof. And it is just, they created such a unique and diverse and epic uh, power metal album that's just a lot of fun to listen to. It's got soaring, epic, you know, melodic moments. It's, it's got crazy ripping guitar shredding moments. It's got awesome piano uh, centered moments. It's got kind of theatrical, you know, sort of bizarre uh, kind of moments where the vocalist clearly had a lot of fun. Um, it, it's just mind-blowingly good. It, it, I, it's just, yeah, that, I mean, that's all I can say. Phenomenal. Any power metal fan, do not miss this bad boy. Uh, it really, really is an epic uh, a masterpiece of an album. The fellows over at Ascension should be very, very proud, which I'm sure they are, but still, uh, if they're not, they should be. Um, killer stuff. Worth worth the 10-year the wait. Hopefully we don't have to wait another 10 years, but if we do, I, I think it's pretty safe to say uh, they'll make it worth it, but anywho, so yeah, Ascension with Under the Veil of Madness, best album of February 2023. And there you have it. Those are my picks, folks. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite albums were of the, the month of February. Uh, I love to hear your thoughts. I love to hear what y'all were digging. So let's talk about it uh, down below. And uh, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll catch y'all next time. Ranger.